What's going on here guys? Uh, the system has become more refined. We have nearly mastered the negative resistance phenomenon, meaning when I turn it on, the circuit will consume a little bit of power, but when I send my accumulated power to a load, our power consumption virtually drops to nothing. Uh, the design got more refined, more cleaned up. What we have here is the ringer circuit. Um, give you a good look at that. And what, what we have is the ringer circuit built like this, but we wound an extra yellow pickup coil over it, um, exactly the way Tesla specifies, which would be right here. We wound that extra pickup exactly that way. And what occurs is you have powerful output from this leg to the center, from that leg to the center, but you can't run a load from that leg to that leg because it would cancel out. Basically, and then you put a diode here, a diode here, you combine the power, and you're basically getting the DC power of both phases combined. When one phase kicks out, the other kicks in, and you just have constant DC power. So... <clears throat> Basically what's occurring is we have the ringer circuit. We aren't using the power directly from the ringer circuit. We created a RLC circuit, a negative resistance RLC circuit, which is very special. So what that means is we have the correct value resistor here to create negative resistance. We earth grounded it in the right spot. The system no longer generates any form of heat. And we can, when we run loads, our power consumption drops. And yeah, I'll just show you the negative resistance phenomenon for itself. And again, here's a good look at it. Those coils. This is an extra pickup. Not connected to the ringer in any way. It's wireless. I'll move it. You can see it. It's wireless. Fully wireless. Again, that being wireless, it makes it an open system. So, again... Not a perpetual motion machine, it's an open, wireless, magnetic, resonant energy harvesting machine. Um, system is off. I'll turn it on, and we will see the negative resistance phenomenon. We are on. Consuming very little power. I'll show you... First, I'll show you the voltage in the system now. This is how refined it's getting. Here is our voltage. Now on the output of the system. It almost will exceed 200 volts. So that's our voltage of the system. Open circuit, we consume very little power. The system keeps getting more and more refined. Uh, that's our power. I will go to short circuit current and show you that. Here's our short circuit current, about a third of an amp, and when that's short circuited, our power consumption drops to virtually nothing. In fact, I think our power consumption might even be in the negative, because we mastered the negative resistance phenomenon. Well, I don't want to say mastered, that's a bit arrogant. We got it pretty fine-tuned, and again, we're consuming virtually no power. We still have wireless power capabilities. If I bring this pickup coil nearby, completely wireless pickup coil, and I touch this little light receiver to it, it will light while our circuit is consuming no power. Like, how phenomenal is that? It's getting nuts. And I haven't even showed you the craziest part yet, because this thing easily self-loops itself. And the key was making multiple wireless receiver coils, having them tuned, combining them, and uh, getting the correct value resistor for negative resistance. So, oh, and earth grounding it. That's what you need. It, the earth ground makes it an open system that sucks in power. So again, there's the amp meter. There's our short circuit current. We're consuming no power. We still have wireless power. 
that effect should not be possible, but yet it is. So, there's a good look at it. We'll go back to voltage mode and see how quick our voltage recharges. Very fast. You don't even need any form of voltage regulation soft software or stuff here. You can just plug that back into your DC source and it will recharge it up to about 90%. So now I will connect this bulb up to it. And to show you the fact the negative resistance phenomenon has been nearly mastered, the circuit will consume no power while still dimly lighting this, this resistive load. So there's the resistive load. You know you have negative resistance when you put a resistive load on it. And it will very dimly light while you consume no power on your meter. But yet when you run non-linear loads or an inductive load like a motor or an LED light it'll come on to full intensity no problem and the negative resistance phenomenon is still present. And again, you can run a motor off of this, and that hurts to look at. I'll connect up a motor. And again, th this all this power output is coming from the wireless receivers. We're not directly using the power um, from the source at all. This is all wireless. Come on. So here we go. And yeah, that's probably not going to work on video. Uh, try it again. Oh, there we go, I almost got it. Ha, there we go. Got it, alright. The motor is running. Moving a lot of wind. Negative resistance phenomenon is present with an inductive load. There it is. Assuming virtually no power. All power gets delivered back into the system. And again, we still have wireless power capability. Phenomenal, and I feel this thing moving air. And just touch this to anything nearby, it will probably light even brighter. Yes, it does. I'll shut this off because the motor is going to want to touch things and go flying. So, anyway, I'll turn it back on. Again, you're seeing the negative resistance effect here. Good look at the system. And actually, this should be cl touching. You want it really close to optimize it. Um, now here's where it gets interesting. I will connect, I will send this power back back as a feedback. And you, we will watch the system recharge itself. So, the system is now resonantly feedbacking into itself while consuming virtually no power and it will recharge. And I demonstrated this in my long last video. So we have wireless resonant feedback, negative resistance, and the circuit's more fine tuned and cleaned up. I can now connect up my uh, inverter and have some fun. I'll just show you the fact it's recharging. This will probably be the first part out of two parts of uh, this video. We'll just watch it recharge so you get the idea.
as you see it's recharging should say 0.33 any minute now so what occurs with the negative resistance phenomenon is in theory you set up oscillations within your circuit where your waveform grows over time and then we use that to our advantage because it's not a traditional LC circuit. The fact there's negative resistance occurring we have a gain in power when you bring a wireless receiver nearby and properly tune it so and in this case the wireless receiver is the properly tuned yellow coil on the outside of the ringer and this additional yellow pickup which is identical to that yellow transformer um, and yeah you have you combine the output with those diodes in this case I'm using SR150 diodes which seem to be the most efficient um, I thought the system would charge up to 400 volts DC at a third of an amp with this setup but it charges to about 200 to 210 volts and the power is there it's real um, the negative resistance phenomenon when it occurs it can run loads to full for well it can run loads up to up to a couple watts and when it does it your power consumption drops to nearly nothing and again we're ch recharging the uh, source super cap see that it's almost locked at 0.33 And if you want a full tour of the device, you're more than welcome to. Did a full deep clean of my room and my basement workshop. Believe me, that's actually clean for me. Um, so yeah, this new design, this new cleaned up design um, will go on the large generator boards. It's going to sit on a big board. Um, you get the source super cap. I'm debating if I should do the source super cap or the source uh, light P -P PO4 battery, lithium iron phosphate. And it'll include a little solar panel um, in case you want to have off-grid applications with it. A schematic how to use it. You'd ground that part of the circuit heavily. Um, I've yet to ground that into a lake. I'm curious what the hell will happen. And yeah, the, sim the system is just very simple and it works you see it recharging itself um like they say simplicity is the ultimate sophistication so what we're essentially doing we create negative resistance in the circuit and then we wirelessly tap it we, we wirelessly tap that gain from the negative resistance so that's how it works um, the ancient masters believed it's possible for energy synthesis uh, so why not gave it a shot and it seems to work just like how they said in the primordial electric grid when they transmitted kilowatts and megawatts of power interesting things occurred in their electric grid that wasn't quite built right electricity would literally vanish into I believe they called it counter space or an ether void is what I believe they said um, so if energy can vanish into a void why can't we extract it from a void so kind of getting into metaphysics here, nihil ex nihilo, but nonetheless the technology does work as long as you have that heavy earth ground. So we are recharging negative resistance phenomenon in full effect. We'll give you the full tour around the device. The only external wire going to it is that ground connection. Uh, these are just my wireless little pickups sitting here. Here's how behind the device looks very simple here's under the desk I'm gonna do some outdoor tests soon with this thing here's my other desk don't want to accidentally film something I'm not supposed to like important paperwork of mine um, bit of a look around the room 
Nothing too crazy. And I believe that flashed 3 4. Um, so that's that. This will be the first part out of a two part series. And again, the phenomenal wireless power effects. Can probably even touch this to random things and it will light. Yeah, look at this. Like that, I've never had efficiency this great before. Not even with my uh, old transmitters over there. This is this is absolutely fucking insane. I've never had efficiencies this high. We're recharging our source input. We've created the correct arch form for energy manifestation. Possibly from the ether. Um, I'll shut this off. To show you the wireless power effects have ceased. And again, this thing will always be very, very faintly lit because I have the utmost sensitive receiver diodes. And I don't want this video to exceed 20 minutes. Again, that's our end charge. Turn the system on again while holding this thing in my hand so you can see it kick on. This thing back up here. So, the next part of the video, I'm going to end it here. I will hook up the inverter. We will run some loads and then watch it recharge itself.